Senna. Pals. Very excited to continue with Fallout Season 1, Episode 3. Thanks so much for coming back. Here we go. Oh. Oh, okay. I guess this is like our strawberry episode. <laughs> okay. Uh, that took you a second. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> what? Oh, he's on a movie set, right? Yeah. But I was wondering if he's like Please. actually a good shot. Please. Before. Probably. He I would probably was, so. yeah. He seems like he's got like legit cowboy skills. Do I really have to kill him? Cuts? He's not into it. Well, why can't I just arrest a guy like I normally do? The, That's what, what I do. The audience, Coop. Right. Yeah. They want to see that even a good man as yourself can be driven yeah, I understand that, but that's not really my thing. He looks like RRR to me. <laughs> Doesn't he? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Bob's been fired, Coop. What? Why? Studio fired him. Why? See, it turns out Bob's a of a communist. Oh my gosh, they brought that into this? That's crazy. Oh, what a shame. You're Terrible such a great shame. writer. One of the best, but he had to go, which is why this movie is so important. Right. You see, it's a, it's a new kind of Western. I guess that makes sense. The Red Scare, I mean, yeah. with the nuclear, you know, here, fright and all that. You, your gun, and your oh, is that how he met her? Bringing order to yeah. the Wild Wild oh, West. Oh, hey. Uh, hey, let's, uh, let's pick this up after lunch. That's how he met Mama. You gonna save any of that grape taffy for the rest of us? It's lavender. Well, if you like the taste of lavender, why not just drink a bottle of perfume? You know, a lot of people like to write it off as some old lady flavor, but... No, I love it, subtle. too. Yes. Tastes like someone touching you for the first time. Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Very straightforward. May I? Matt, that touch me? What? <laughs> oh, you took the whole piece. Yeah, that looks uncomfortable. It's very chewy. She set him, <laughs> she set him up. Oh, it's horrible. Stop it. Um, we gotta ask your mother. Please oh, they're already stress. together. Aww. I was like, dang, he put the charms on her like that? Like, quick. So what okay, happened? Because they going. mentioned alimony in right. the first, first episode. Okay, what is this? A bit of a costume change for you, Mr. Howard. It's like you said, the beginning of the end. They even made it in your color. Let's see if it fits. It looks like you were saying okay, Janie. the colors are like the vault The clothes. vault boys? Yeah. Or vault people? Yeah. I saw the colors and it did look like an outfit from the vaults. Well, it makes one wonder if he had any input in the beginning of the vault yeah. days. Oh. Oh, jeez. You seem to have lost your head, sir. I didn't take the bag either. She didn't need it. She could have put the head in there. That's true. She wanted to be walking around like Predator to be a threatening <laughs> image. <laughs> She's like, shh. Sh <coughs> Aw. I wonder if Doggy feels sad that his old master's headless now. Them showing us that opening makes me really wonder if his ex-wife or his daughter are alive. I've been wondering that. See, she's walking around like Predator. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe no one will mess with her because they're like, this chick's crazy. She's just walking around with a severed head. Based on his description, I would have put that in the bag for sure, like you said. Yeah. Because like she's walking around with gold, assuming reanimation and all that. Or at least extraction. Maybe. The visual effects in this is remarkably good. Mm -hmm. I don't know when we're looking at CG or... Like a practical yeah. set. She's very comfortable with it. Oh, yeah, the, it's there, remember? I was wondering about that, if that like helps sustain his brain activity yeah, and all that. Was, or maybe he's hidden information in that little capsule. That makes more sense. To keep you extra safe. She's putting a tracker in case she loses yeah, it. Yeah, she's not completely stupid. Oh my gosh. What did he say about fires, girl? <laughs> she keeps petting it, and it's like, that's a <laughs> severed head. <laughs> you get comfortable very quickly. Oh, my God. Dang. Can he get out, or is that... Oh, he's out. Oh, okay. I guess he's done with that. Dang. Too soon, man. Too soon. No. He's learned how to fix it. I don't know how much more of the show he'll spend in that. His people. <laughs> <laughs> His face. His reaction was great. You missed your check-in. We were attacked. <laughs> That'll get you a replacement, Squire. Right away. 
no. No. I'm okay. All good here. It's not a problem. We got plenty of squires. <laughs> They're so disposable. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think you got it, dude. You yanked it out. You're okay. <laughs> Is there a tracking device on that at all? Good question. Yeah. I'll be right back. What if Good. someone else decides to get in that? Well, maybe they don't know how to... Mm, maybe. I didn't see a low jack on it, so I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know how that works. <laughs> That's a good point. It might get stolen while he's walked away from it. It's probably got a lot of black market value. Just sell it for parts, even. I can fix it. Cost you five caps. Oh, what's with her voice? <laughs> Good place to keep your money. In his boot. Uh, could you do it for four? I didn't know it was going to be four. I thought it would be four caps for some other reason. Yeah. The smile's not working. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh. Actually, ew. <laughs> I was going to say. Extra, <laughs> if you do it fast. Wow. <laughs> He's a good shot. Step away. <laughs> <laughs> Very non threatening. Whoa. What, what was the plan? <laughs> that guy's huge. He's hitting wild. I took him to be better than that. He's yeah. been bullied so much, like, I would have thought he'd be able to, he'd, like, have a strategy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yes, they're in. He better ass haul in there. Hurry up, get in there. Don't let him get in there. Oh, okay. And a toilet seat? Let's go. I have no idea what this plan is, but I'm excited to see I it. I like the music. Sounds like Johnny Cash again. Yeah, it's Johnny Cash. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's the most realistic response I've seen to a weapon like that. Because usually the big guys are just like, what? You didn't, it barely, I barely felt anything. Oh my goodness. Just get in it. Get in it. You know how to work this thing. Come on. You're like just about in it. He's going to light him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Bye. oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Ew, nasty. Oh no. <laughs> I just ran like a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Okay, throw up. Don't throw up in the suit. Yeah, he saw that side of that. He's like, He's like you know what? I'm good on this. Not worth it. Let's go. This is more than I bargained for. Ew. Oh no. Oh, there might be a tracker on there. Or he just didn't get very far from the landing site. Why does he keep leaving I know. that thing behind? I'm like, what are you doing? Oh, a new squire. Okay, get out, get suited. Maybe the squire can fix it. Dude, asshole. Don't oh, let him no, see your face. Oh no, not that guy. Isn't that his bully? It doesn't matter. As long as he's in there, the guy won't know. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Don't ever let him see your face. Woo! He barely oh. got that on. Yeah, barely. I'm about to protect and serve you whoever you deem fit. Oh, with a blood hand. Arise, my squire. And clean this. Passing it on. Yeah, why why bully your bully? Oh, payback's a bitch, doesn't it? The other cleric says whoever gets the target will control the wasteland. And uh we are to kill whomever stands in our way. The girl. Yeah. So where is it? In the hills? Hollywood Boulevard. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to like I make know. out what I can recognize. Yeah. But it all looks just it's, run down. Yeah, it's unrecognizable. Hey, I don't remember seeing any school buses in Hollywood. Oh, is this a okay animal or a radioactive animal? So far, this whole radioactive business has not really been a factor. <laughs> is that a machine or a creature? What's coming from the water? Look at that. What the? F <gasps> you just wasted ammo. Can you back up. 
Yeah, get away from the water. Don't! Oh my god! Oh no, not the head! Not the head! Oh no. Shit. Well, at least you gotta, you gotta go swimming now. There. You gotta go swimming. No, she's gotta use her tracking device. It's true. Oh, jeez. I told you. Everyone has to keep parting with their shit in this episode. Go and it makes me swim. so anxious. Oh, no, who's that? Oh, hi there. Hi there, hi. We're how, gonna find out if he's a bad you? guy. Oh, oh shit. shoot. Where is it? I lost it. Is he gonna see the tracking device? Oh. Doc, does he know what that is? That's so gross. Oh, yeah, he knows. A gulper got it, huh? A what? A gulper? Oh, a gulper took it, I think is what he said. Yeah, yeah a gulper got it. <laughs> Why are you crying? Well, it's the room <laughs> where they get to cry. I'm being reassigned. The whole oh. opening the vault door for Never Lucy's mind. thing didn't sit too well with the council, so... Like I guess I'm not always. gatekeeper anymore. Oh, shame. That's okay. <laughs> That guy's neck brace. It's comedy. He's keeping his, <laughs> he's keeping his leg. Come you and Chet put your sister in incredible danger by helping her out that vault door. The rad levels up there alone. Worse? You could have gotten us all killed. But you could have destroyed the last vestiges of civilization. It was Lucy's idea. Oh, oh he just threw her under the bus? What are we going to do with you? Punish me with a demotion, I guess. You've worked janitorial, you've done kitchen duty. <laughs> There's no lower you can go. Your performance review has been lax enthusiasm. No, but that sounds accurate. <laughs> I'm just glad to hear that we punish people down here for breaking the rules. Is that just for vault dwellers or for people who come down here and murder vault dwellers? Now that I think of it... Uh oh We've got a job for you after all. Oh no, what is this Disposing job? of the bodies. I really love the beginning of that scene. The guy's like, do you know why you're here? He's <laughs> got the thing <laughs> around his deck, trying to look badass still. Rise and shine, everyone. Oh, is he gonna be hanging out with the prisoners? Maybe he wants to be one of them, <laughs> to have that freedom. Or just hurt them. Uh, if we find the target, we should repair your radio so we can ask the Brotherhood to send reinforcements. I will retreat myself. Understood. Understood. I never done it. If we find the ghoul, we find the target. You left the ghoul alive. Great idea, sir. All wastelanders leave radiation trails. Mm. By allowing the ghoul to live, you've made it possible to trace the whereabouts of the of the target. Yes, right. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> Hadn't thought of that. Well done, sir. This way. Where you wait? That's the first instance of any kind of radioactive thing that they've brought up so far. Yeah. While on the surface. I think this was him? Hard to tell. <laughs> Show me the illustration. <laughs> Let me look at his face. That's definitely him. <laughs> think we should uh, bring the body back with us? No, his head is what's valuable. We need to find it. Yeah, smart. Okay, so I think that the pool probably should be... He's just looking at the tracks. Yeah, that way. Definitely. Definitely that way. Tracks. Yeah. <laughs> Handy, right? Tracks. He could just fly across that. He doesn't have to walk it. Yeah, maybe he wants to conserve fuel, though. You know, I was wondering if they were ever going to bring that up. My dad, he, he's an overseer. He, he got taken by raiders, and I need the head to get him back. If you help me find him, he'll do whatever you want. <laughs> he just wants to use her as bait anyway for the, for the thing, I'm sure. Torture is wrong! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I used to do these things called studies. Well, you couldn't open a newspaper without reading about one study or another. Oh, oh. oh it's coming. Torturing a person don't do shit. Uh -huh. It's getting closer. You asked me them studies, I was right. Torturing a person don't do shit. Then why? <laughs> why are you doing this? Because you're bait. Well, I ain't. Torturing you, sweetheart. Yeah. I'm using you as bait. Oh, Lord. Uh oh. Ay -ya! Oh, my gosh. Jeez. Oh, my goodness. It's got fingers in its mouth. It doesn't have teeth. It's still gross and it is big gross. and. 
Oh no, what is that? Oh no! Oh god! Oh my god! Oh jeez! It's such an oddly shaped creature. Well, it's like a humanoid. Yeah. But it seems like it's made up of a lot of different human parts. And then like a, a newt or a scalamander or something. Okay, yeah. Something he needs. That fish just ate. Oh, fuck her. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I should have just let you use me as bait in a poison river. You can't treat people like this. Yeah, why is that? Because of the golden rule. Oh my gosh. Do unto others as you'd have done unto you. you gonna scopers digest real slow. Bring him back. <laughs> Maybe he'll start dying without his medication. What about the head? I need the head to get my dad yeah, back. Yeah, well, the wasteland's got its own golden rule. <laughs> Oh, what's that? Thou shalt get sidetracked by bullshit every goddamn time. <laughs> <laughs> what about the dog? He ain't mine. No. Yeah, he's definitely super great. Like, it's hard to tell. Yeah. Like, how far gone he is. I think she's gonna, like... Bring him bring back? Bring him back, yeah. Most likely. Sorry, I'm derelict of my duties here. <laughs> Whoop. <gasps> What are you doing? Don't touch me. Just refilling your water bag so you can stay hydrated. Right. <laughs> your uh, former squire. How did he die? Bear. You knew him? Yeah, I, I did. Uh oh, don't say Just anything bad about him. him. Well, he. Uh, don't say anything bad. He was a good guy. Okay, there we go. There's something negative about him. He, he's, he's dead. I don't know. It feels weird. <laughs> Why does he want him to say something negative? To be honest, me and the other guys used to be pretty hard on him. I'd like regularly beat the shit out of him. It wasn't personal, you know? It's just... Hazing. They were scared of him. People at the base, they used to beat the shit out of me all the time. Aww. That's yeah, a hazing. So this shimmer new recruits came in, and uh, one of them... Was Maximus. Yeah, I was really popular. It's great. I just wish he lived long enough to find someone else to beat up, you know? Always seems fair. <laughs> Let's go. We're losing daylight. Yeah. I want to know how he pees and poops in there. The, if there's like an extracting situation. The thing I was curious about is the the anatomy of it. Like, because when he bends his legs and stuff, I'm like, what? What's <laughs> like, how does he control this? Yeah. The most ethical solution would be to rehabilitate the prisoners and then oh, integrate geez. them into our vault society. It's a nice notion. It but... is a nice notion, but I don't think they want to be. Based on what I saw this morning, it may take years. But, but there is nothing we can't do when we set our minds to it. That's really, really optimistic. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think it's our job to help these people. They're murderers. The hard truth is we can't just let them go. <laughs> <laughs> they have intimate knowledge of our vault security. So, extra. Yeah. So what do you propose we do? We can do what they would have done to us. Take them out. Yeah. She the agrees. young Norm was just expressing a feeling. She looked kind of cool with that eye patch. I know. May I, may I speak with you for a moment, please? Uh, it's about the water chip. Go ahead. What happened? In private. It, it, it's the type of thing Overseer McLean would have preferred to discuss uh, privately uh, before bringing it to the full group. Well, he's not here now, is he? Uh-oh. Let's hear it. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a disaster. The water chip is destroyed. The vault only has enough water to keep our population alive for uh, two months. That's fine. That's enough. Thanks. <laughs> she tried to help uh, you, you dummy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he gave the same look. It's like, I tried to warn you. <laughs> Oh my god. Yucky. That's your worst fear. When you said a cockroach as big as a baby, there it is. There's no context for that. You like do people aren't gonna understand what you're saying. Just randomly dropping our conversations into the middle of a reaction without explanation or I'll context. explain later. I'm not sure we're tracking the right abomination. Here he comes. Go. Thank you, sir. Okay, he's yeah. doing the thing that yeah. a knight should do. Exactly. 
Ah, oh, right, shit. Here we go. Use the fire thing. Holy crap. Punch it in the face. Oh. Oh. oh nice job, Squire. Yeah. Oh, it's pissed. <laughs> this music is wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, ah! <gasps> oh my god. It doesn't have teeth, you said, right? I know, but it, I think it, it like does something. Like it's probably got like acid or something. Ew, gross. Yee! God, it's strong! Cause he's strong, how can he- Ew, 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 what the hell is going on? What the hell just happened? Oh, what is that? Oh, he found her boot. Her shoe. Like, like, uh, uh, Cinderella. Uh -huh. <laughs> but where's the head? Oh, he found the head. So... He's not gonna eat him, is he? So, so the, the creature's insides locked onto him, and because he was yanked out, that's why the dude got, the creature got killed? Maybe, I don't know. The head! <laughs> yes! They're kind of cute. <laughs> well, we're going to find out what their relationship is going to be like once the squire finds out who he really is. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we hate him. What did he do to you? He's just angry at the vaults. Or is that his face? That's his face. I don't know. Because he was like the face of it, right? That's, you know what, that's entirely possible. You might be right. What an astute observation, Achara Kirk. That's what I'm here for. Oh, that's the outfit. Yeah. You all are doing uh, God's work here. And uh, on behalf of every decent American, I just want to say thank you. Yeah. Well, okay, here we go. Where's the thumbs up? Yeah. I have an idea. What if, uh, what if I were to do like a thumbs up? Go for it, Coop. You call them Coop? <laughs> well, I guess they're fans. Yeah. And then there it is. Wow. The plot thickens now. We kind of hear about his past, and now I'm even more curious. Like, so what happened? Like, how did he get from that guy to the ghoul that we know? He's got some sort of animosity yeah. aimed at the vaults. Yes. At the vault people. And, 100%. And so that makes a lot more sense as to why he's been treating Lucy the way he's been treating her, because he just despises them, is the sense I'm getting. Yeah. But she's going to win him over. At least, that's kind of what I'm hoping is that she wins him over. However, the show kind of caught me off guard because I was fully expecting the bully to just shit on Maximus. And then he's like, oh, he's a good guy. And then he explained his whole backstory and how, we, like you said, that really caught me off guard. That was a real surprise, you know, because then you find out he was just trying to get by just like Maximus was. And in his heart, he wasn't a bully. He was actually hoping that at some point some other schmuck would come in <laughs> that Maximus could then bully as well. Yeah. As, as, so he had he kind of had it in his mind that at some point him and Maximus would be friends. That's yeah, like, maybe. Or at least that Maximus wouldn't be bullied so much anymore. I'm just wondering if that bond is going to be seriously challenged once he realizes that he's talking to Maximus. I'm curious to see if Lucy manages to maintain her sunny optimism throughout the duration of the show because the show is making a big point about this whole idea of transformation, right? Like you got the physical transformations with being exposed to the radiation, but also the idea that in order to survive in this new world as a surface dweller, you're gonna have to change your mindset and you're gonna have to do things that you don't wanna do and your morals are gone. Yeah, I, so, I saw Demolition Man at a very spongy, ripe age. And so I'm inclined to believe 
that, just like Sandra Bullock, she's going to convert over to a more edgy side. It's been quite enjoyable to see her character's journey, you know? Yeah. Is she's, like, she's really good with the acting and all that, and she feels so genuine and earnest. Like, that when, when she was pulled from the water and she goes, this is not how you treat people. Like, it's <laughs> the last thing I was expecting to hear from her, even though... she genuinely believes it. Like, yeah. she truly is a product of the whole vault system. Yeah. And it's also interesting to see how her brother is so different from her. I wonder if at some point he's going to maybe come into a position of leadership or finally also leave the vault. The creature as well was crazy. Mm -hmm. Such a wild interpretation of what could happen if you were like exposed. Probably one of the grossest things I've ever seen in television. It looked like Little Shop of Horrors to me mixed with one of those plants from Super Mario Brothers. <sighs> I am anticipating a romance between the little brother and the pregnant lady with the eye patch. We'll see what happens though. One can hope. You guys, oh. thanks so much for hanging out. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Kirk. I thought they were cousins. I'd, like that matters in this world? Messing around with your cousin, it's all well and good for kids, but <laughs> I guess not. Peace out.